What drives us to do what we do? Why might one person spend hours studying a single topic while another quickly loses interest? These are questions that tap into the enigma of motivation, the invisible force that propels us forward or holds us back from achieving our goals. Motivation is a fundamental aspect of our lives. It's the heartbeat of every action, the spark that ignites our passions, and the engine that drives our accomplishments. But what exactly is motivation? How does it work? And why is it so vastly different between individuals? Well, to unravel these mysteries, we're going to explore five crucial aspects of motivation. These include incentives, the external rewards that fuel our actions, biological factors, the internal workings of our brain that influence our drive, cognitive processes, the mental frameworks that shape our motivation, social influences, the societal elements that affect our drive, and emotional states, the feelings that can powerfully sway our motivation. So buckle up as we delve into the intricate science of motivation. Scene script. Imagine a world where every effort you put in reaps a tangible reward. In this world, every step you take towards your goal is met with a positive response. This is the power of incentives. They're like the proverbial carrot dangled in front of a donkey, tempting it forward. Incentives are external rewards or stimuli that can drive our behavior, pushing us towards a specific direction. Think back to your school days. Remember striving to get that gold star sticker on your homework, or the thrill of earning a trophy for winning a sports match. These are classic examples of incentives. They offered us a sense of achievement and satisfaction, nudging us to work harder, study more diligently, or run a bit faster. Incentives can come in various forms, from monetary rewards, recognition, to personal satisfaction, and they all play a crucial role in influencing our actions. They provide a clear target to aim for, making the path towards our goals more enticing. But as powerful as incentives can be, they are not the sole drivers of our actions. They work best when they align with our personal values and interests. When the incentive matches what we genuinely care about, it creates a synergy that can propel us forward more effectively. However, it's crucial to remember that incentives work differently for everyone. What motivates one person might not have the same effect on another. Therefore, Understanding individual preferences and personal motivators is key to effectively leveraging the power of incentives. Incentives can be powerful motivators, but they are just one piece of the puzzle. Did you know that our own bodies can play a significant role in motivating us? Well, that's right. The human body is a symphony of intricate physiological mechanisms, each playing its part in the grand orchestra of motivation. Let's talk about neurotransmitters, the body's chemical messengers. They transmit signals throughout the body, helping to regulate our emotions, mood, and motivation. One key player is dopamine, often dubbed the feel-good neurotransmitter. When we do something that feels rewarding, whether it's eating a delicious meal or achieving a personal goal, our brain releases dopamine. This triggers a feeling of pleasure and satisfaction, essentially giving us a biological pat on the back. It's our brain's way of saying, good job, let's do that again. But it doesn't stop there. Our brain also has a built-in reward system. Think of it as a biological incentive program. This system, driven by the release of dopamine, encourages us to repeat behaviors that are beneficial to our survival. From an evolutionary perspective, it's a brilliant strategy. It's our brain's way of ensuring we keep doing the things that keep us alive and thriving. However, it's important to remember that while our biology can significantly influence our motivation, it isn't the be-all and end-all. Other factors like our thoughts, our social environment, and our emotions also play a significant role in shaping our motivational landscape. Our biology can be a strong influencer, but it's not the only factor at play. Our brain isn't just a biological organ. It is also the seat of our thoughts and perceptions. And these thoughts and perceptions play a crucial role in our motivation. Let's probe a bit deeper into this cognitive realm. Think about the last time you set a goal for yourself. Perhaps it was to run a marathon, or maybe to finally start that novel you've been dreaming about. Your goal setting is a major cognitive process that drives your motivation. 
Setting a goal creates a clear objective, a finish line if you will, and this clarity fuels your drive to achieve it. Now let's talk about self-efficacy. This is your belief in your ability to succeed in a particular situation. It's the voice in your head that says, yes, I can. When you believe you can achieve something, you're more likely to put in the effort and persist in the face of challenges. Your belief in your capabilities can be a powerful motivator. Finally, we arrive at expectancy value theories. These theories suggest that we are motivated by what we expect to happen and the value we place on the outcome. If we expect a positive outcome and value it highly, we are more likely to be motivated to pursue it. So our cognitive processes from goal setting to self-efficacy and expectancy value theories deeply influence our motivation. Our thinking patterns can significantly shape our motivation, but what about the people around us? We don't live in isolation. The people around us, the society we live in, they all play a role in what motivates us. Yes, the social world we inhabit is a significant player in our motivational landscape. Take social interactions, for example. When we're surrounded by motivated individuals, their energy and drive can be contagious. Their achievements can inspire us to aim higher, and their resilience can encourage us to persist in the face of adversity. This is the power of social support, the encouragement and reinforcement we receive from those around us, which can amplify our motivation. Then there's the double-edged sword of peer pressure. While it can sometimes push us towards detrimental behaviors, it can also spur us towards positive actions. Think of a group of friends training for a marathon together. The collective commitment creates a form of peer pressure that motivates each individual to keep up with the training regimen. And let's not overlook societal expectations and cultural norms. These unwritten rules guide our behavior, often subconsciously. If our culture values hard work and achievement, we're more likely to be motivated to strive for success. Conversely, if our society stigmatizes certain pursuits, our motivation to engage in those activities may dwindle. So, as we navigate through our social world, be it our immediate circle or the wider societal context, we're constantly influenced by these forces. They shape our motivations, pushing and pulling us in different directions. Social influences can greatly impact our motivation, but let's not forget about our emotions. Ever noticed how your mood can affect your motivation? Emotions, those complex reactions to our experiences and thoughts, play a key role in sparking our motivation. Consider passion, that intense driving feeling that makes us leap out of bed in the morning, eager to pursue what sets our hearts on fire. Passion fuels our motivation, enabling us to push through challenges, to strive, to achieve. It's the emotion that keeps artists painting through the night, scientists tirelessly pursuing breakthroughs, and athletes training for that gold medal. Then there's fear, a powerful emotion that can either paralyze us or spur us into action. The fear of failure, for instance, can motivate us to prepare thoroughly, to give our best, to sidestep potential pitfalls. In the face of fear, our motivation to succeed can become a compelling force. And let's not forget joy, that delightful emotion which makes the journey worthwhile. The prospect of experiencing joy, of basking in the glow of achievement, can be a significant motivator. It's the anticipation of joy that keeps us going, even when the going gets tough. Essentially, our emotional states serve as catalysts, shaping our drive and persistence towards our objectives. They can make us resilient in the face of adversity, innovative in the pursuit of solutions, and persistent in the quest for our goals. Emotions can be powerful motivators, driving us towards or away from our goals. So remember, harnessing your emotions can be the key to unlocking your motivation. So, what does all this tell us about motivation? Well, it's clear that motivation is not a one-size-fits-all concept. It's a complex interplay of incentives, biological factors, cognitive processes, social influences, and emotional states. Incentives, whether they're tangible rewards or intangible benefits, can drive us to act, to strive, to achieve. But that's just the beginning. Our biology, our very brain chemistry, plays a pivotal role too, with neurotransmitters like dopamine fueling our desire to pursue rewards. 
Our cognitive processes shape our motivation as well. How we set goals, how we perceive our abilities, and how we value the outcomes of our actions. All of these contribute to our drive. Then we must consider the social influences, the impact of our relationships, societal expectations and cultural norms. And let's not forget our emotional states, how our passions, fears and joys can ignite or dampen our motivation. Understanding the science of motivation can help us harness its power, steering us toward our goals and aspirations.